Hello, welcome to another episode of the iBook Guy. Today I have a MacBook Pro, it's a 13 inch, and uh, this one had Gatorades built on the motherboard, after which it died a pretty quick death. And um, so what we're gonna be doing today is a complete disassembly uh, all the way down to the motherboard, and with any luck, maybe we can fix it. We'll see. As always, when you're taking apart a laptop, I recommend that you have something like this uh, that you can label with a dry erase marker and put your screws in because there's going to be a lot of different kinds of screws and you don't want to lose track of them when it comes time to put it back together. You can typically pick these up in the craft section of places like Walmart and Target or container stores, stuff like that. Okay, first thing to do is turn the laptop upside down and you'll see 10 screws on the bottom. These are all Phillips screws and you'll need a fine tipped Phillips screwdriver. However, these three screws here are longer than the rest, so as usual, make sure to keep these labeled and separated in your container. Okay, at this point you should be able to remove the bottom plate. You can see the corrosion all over the logic board from the spilled Gatorade. If all you needed to do was get to the RAM, you can already do that. If you want to remove the hard drive, you'll just need to remove these two screws here, and then you can pull this little retaining bracket out. Then you can just unplug the SATA connector. Okay, back on our mission to remove the logic board. First, unplug the battery by gently prying upward on this connector here. Now we'll remove the fan. Start by unplugging it from the board. You'll need to pry straight up. Next, remove these three screws. From this point on, you're going to need a T6 Torx driver. Okay, you should be able to lift the fan up and out of the computer now. Okay, now to unplug the video connector. You'll probably need to peel off this little cushion. Then lift this little lever and fold it over. Then just pull the cable straight out like this. Next, undo the screw and another one hiding right by the video cable. Okay, remove this cable here, pop it straight up. Okay, remove the cushion from this cable and pull it straight out. For these next three cables, just lift them straight up like this until they pop off. Okay, this next connector is a bit strange. You need to rotate the back of it upwards like this, then pull the cable straight out. The next connector is very small but works exactly the same, but first you'll need to remove this little cover. Okay, back over by the battery again, remove this little connector. Next, remove these two screws here. Then get the ones on either side of the RAM modules. Okay, you have three more screws on the logic board. Then you have these two screws here for the power connector board. Okay, time to unscrew the battery pack. This is where you'll need that funky tri-wing driver. Once you lift out the battery, you should be able to remove the logic board. Okay, so now the goal is to clean all of the Gatorade off of everything. I can feel the sticky remains on many parts of the computer. Most of the surfaces are pretty easy to clean. For the logic board, I'm going to use pure alcohol and a plastic brush to scrub the corrosion off the board. Then I'll rinse with water to remove all of the sugar left over by the Gatorade. Contrary to popular belief, water will not hurt electronics as long as they are not powered up and as long as it dries before it has a chance to corrode anything. I'll use a hair dryer for the final drying process. 
All right, so a note about the hair dryer. Uh, believe it or not, these things are actually hot enough that they can melt solder and the components could fall right off the board. Um, in fact, some people use it for that on purpose sometimes when they're trying to remove surface mount uh, chips. So what you want to do is try to put it on the low heat setting and then try not to keep the hair dryer focused on any particular part of the board uh, for very long. Keep it moving around as much as possible so you don't focus the heat. Okay, in order to clean this thing out, there are still a few more things to remove, such as this cable for the hard drive and the power indicator LED. You actually have to carefully peel this up. Next, I'll remove the optical drive. Now I can start working on the keyboard. I'll remove all of the keys that are gummed up with Gatorade, and then I'll rinse the whole keyboard assembly in the sink and dry it. I know this is going to be a little bit anticlimactic, but uh, here's the laptop. I have put it back together, and um, unfortunately, it still doesn't work. Um, <laughs> Now, the truth is though, I have done this same procedure on other laptops that had liquid spilled on them and uh, they did come back to life. So it's not a complete total waste of time just because it didn't work in this case. Um, I just don't have any video of that time. So uh, at least now you know how to clean them off if should you need to do that. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we've got some really interesting stuff coming up in the next videos. For example, I'm gonna show you this old first generation Apple TV and some interesting things you can do with it uh, running Linux on it. Um, I'm also going to be building what I hope to be the ultimate computer desk. I'm going to probably do a video about that. And uh, I've got some vintage electronics I'm going to be showing you in an upcoming video as well uh, that's pretty interesting. So, um, till then.